I don't know about you, but if you have ever tried to go in and make edits one at a time, it is not fun. It's very time consuming and you just wanna pull your hair out. Hello friends, my name is Michelle Estrada and welcome to my channel where I peel back the curtain and take you behind the scenes to show you what it's like to have a career as a web designer after being a stay-at-home mom to my four kids for over 17 years. The journey hasn't always been easy, growing pains are not always fun, but I've learned so much along the way and my hope is that through my channel, I can share with you the experiences I've had and encourage you and inspire you that if I can do it, you can do it too. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today I'm in the back end of WordPress and I'm editing a, an e-commerce shopping cart. And I don't know about you, but if you have ever tried to go in and make edits one at a time, it is not fun. It's very time consuming and you just wanna pull your hair out. So I found a bulk editor on Invado Market called the Woo Bulk Editor. And I think it was about 20 bucks on Invado Market. It has been the best 20 bucks I have spent. And I'm going to show you how to use it. And then by the end of this video, you will know why I love it so much. So um, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to show you how you can create a product one time and then duplicate that product with all the variations and all the things that you want on each product and then go in and duplicate that as many times as you need to. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of that within the bulk editor, and you're gonna see how much time it saves you. It is amazing. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So first thing you need to do is get the Woo, W-O-O-B-E bulk editor from Invado Market download the plugin, install it in the back end of your WordPress. If you don't know how to install a WordPress plugin, I will link a video down below of just how to install a plugin and go watch that first and then come back because I'm not gonna get into that in this video. What I wanna do today is dive right into the meat and potatoes of this plugin and show you how to use it quickly so you can get on with your day. So what you need to do to set up a brand new product is you're gonna come over here to products, add new, and then I'm not gonna worry about the description right now, but if you wanted to put the description, this is where it would go, right here. And you notice when I hit enter, it created a slug called final finish spray. That's gonna come into play later when we make duplicates. We're gonna make sure that we don't duplicate our slug right here. That part right there needs to be unique for each product for SEO purposes because we don't wanna confuse the search engines. Let's go over here and we're gonna see which category this is. It's gonna be spray waxes. Next, we are gonna go down to product data. We're gonna click the drop down and select variable product because this is a product with variations. Okay, we're gonna come down here to attributes and we are going to click add custom attribute and we're gonna call it size. If you want your variations to be in a particular descending order, then you have to enter them in here like this. So first you have to say one gallon, put a space and then just above your return key is a button that has an up and down bar. If you click shift and then that up and down bar. It looks like a like a backspace if you don't click shift and an up and down bar if you do click shift. And then space and we'll say five gallon. Space, up and down bar, space, 30 gallon. Space, up and down bar, 55 gallon. And then we want to click right here, used for variations and visible on the product page. You want both of these checked and then you're going to click save attributes. It's going to go ahead and create the attributes. And once that is created, then you can come over here to variations. Now you're going to go to the drop down for variation and you're gonna say create variations from all attributes and click go. It's gonna give you this warning message, but really it's only gonna create four because we know what we just created. And then we say okay. And then it's gonna show you all the variations and they're gonna be ordered in a particular order based on 
a number that it generates and it should be these should be in order because the order of this is the order that it's going to appear in the drop down menu when you are in the front end of your website so we have to double check this and make sure so five seven nine five nine six nine seven nine eight perfect now it does allow you to toggle these back and forth but what i have found is that even if you toggle these woocommerce for some reason still goes according to these numbers and you can't change these numbers this is generated by the back end and you you can't edit these numbers so the the workaround is when we created the attributes we had to put them in the order that we wanted them and then it creates it like this now, if you had images for each individual variation, th this is where they would go. But since we don't in this case, we're going to have one main image and that's going to take care of all of it. So I'm going to go ahead and speed through and update all the variation prices, weight, and descriptions, and SKUs. And then I will be right back. So let's click on the bulk editor. And then we're gonna go look for final finish spray wax that we just created. Okay, so final finish spray wax, we're gonna select it by checking the box right there. And we're gonna open it up so we can see the variations. We're gonna take a look. And we have one, five, 30, and 55 gallons. All these are in order as they should be. The prices are there. The SKUs are there. It's in stock, we've got our slug, everything is good. We've got the weight as we put it and we have the category. So that's what we need, perfect. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key and I'm gonna come over to the very last one of the variations and I'm gonna check it so that all of these, including the main one and all the variations are selected. And then we're going to duplicate this product by clicking on the duplicate button and it's going to ask us how many we need. So I'm going to go ahead and say 17 and then I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to run its magic and create 17 duplications of that product. So then after these are all created, what we're going to go in and do is edit on this screen the thumbnail, the title, the description, the short description, the price, the SKU, these can all be edited now from this page instead of the old way where you had to go in and edit on the product editing page one by one by one. So if you're new to editing in WooCommerce and you haven't ever done a shopping cart like this before, then you might not know the pain of editing inside the individual product editor. It's very detailed and good, but it's more time consuming that way. Now, instead of having to do that, we and this is why I love the Woo bulk editor so much, is because I have all of it here in a spreadsheet on one page and I can just update it right here and I don't have to keep saving and going back and in and out. It just saves so, so much time. If you are interested in getting this bulk editor, you just go to Invado Market and you just search for the WooBE bulk editor. Uh, I will put a link down below. I don't know if I have an affiliate link for this or not, so I'm gonna look and see if I do. I don't even know. I've never done this before. My channel is so small, no one even knows about me anyway, so um, that's pretty funny. But I just want to show you guys this tool because it makes everything so much easier. Okay, so let's go back over to my spreadsheet and I'm going to show you how to use this bulk editor. This one right here called Hull Cleaner, this is what we're going to be doing. And we're going to go, we're going to start from left to right and we're just going to fill everything in as we go. Very first thing you want to do is select Binded Editing. What Binded Editing does is it allows you to update things all at once in bulk. To select this particular product and all of its variations, we're gonna put a check mark in the top one, and then we're gonna hold down the shift key and select the bottom one, and then all of them get selected. Okay, and we're going to make sure that both of these are toggled to green, which means they're both activated. We're gonna click on the title and we're gonna change it. And one thing I will mention is after you put the new title, you need to 
click enter or return because if you don't then and you just click the tab key it's not going to work so you have to click enter for this we do need to make a change here so we're going to say hole cleaner Next, we're going to go in and change the prices, the SKUs, and I'm going to go ahead and speed through this so it's easier to watch. So now let's go ahead and take a look at it and see how we did. Choose an option, one gallon. Let's see if we got it. Whole cleaner, one gallon, and the price is $28.95. Make sure that you've got the right size with the right price and that it actually is looking the way you wanted it to before you move on to the next one. All right, so that is how you edit inside of the bulk editor. Another really cool thing you can do within the bulk editor is you can set your stock quantity. So let's say you have a hundred of everything. You can go in here, click on the number, however many you want in stock and update them all at the same time by using the binded editing. We're not gonna do that right now, but that is the basics of how to edit with the Woo bulk editor. If you've watched this video all the way through and you still have a question about how to do something in the bulk editor, there's a lot of other things that I know how to do in the back end of the bulk editor. So if you need a video for those things, put a question in the comments below because I can definitely make a video for those other things and make it a lot easier for you guys to understand because the only videos that I have found on YouTube about this particular product were kind of confusing to be honest for me when I, when I was trying to figure this out for myself, it was a little bit hard to follow. So I'm trying to make a video that's a lot easier to understand and easier to follow nothing against the videos that are out there. I just had a hard time with them. So if you have questions, put them in the comments below and I will make a video on those things for you. One thing I recommend is making sure that all of your images are the same size. It just makes it look a lot better. These are not all exactly perfect. So I'm probably going to ask them for different pictures so we can get this to look a little bit better, but it's a good start. All right, so that is how I use the bulk editor. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments down below and I'll be more than happy to address any questions that you have. I do read all the comments. If you found this video useful, I hope that you give it a like and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next one. I appreciate you watching and until the next one, go let your light shine. I'll see you soon. Break all the rules, let them run and hide Baby, cause we're dynamite Gonna let the world